gamers, welcome to Board Games and Beyond here at Game Trade Media. I'm Rick. And I'm Gretchen. And this is where we talk about what's news and what's new in the board game industry. So let's jump right into it with what's news. <laughs> thing in the news, Crash a Pirate Party in Part 6 of Doomsday Dawn. Ooh. So Paizo, <laughs> the makers of Pathfinder in their second edition playtest, uh, this is the next part of the Doomsday Dawn playtest. That sounds awesome. Uh, it, yeah, it's it's super cool. Uh, <laughs> Paizo Incorporated began the playthrough of Red Flags, the sixth of seven parts in the Doomsday Dawn adventure in the massive public and free Pathfinder playtest. In this chapter, players create new 14th level characters with skill sets that favor infiltration, knowledge, subtly rather uh, than aggressive combat prowess. Ooh. So it's all about being the sneaky sneakiest. I like that. Yeah. Sounds fun. Yeah, well, I mean, it's Pathfinder. It's, oh, it's a yeah. great game, right? <laughs> so what do we got coming from Osprey? All right, coming from Osprey, Osprey Games is delighted to announce that they will be publishing Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norell, a board game of English magic. So it's a new game set in the world of Susanna Clarke's cult classic novel coming out June 2019. Okay. So it sounds super fun. Um, I've heard the book is fantastic. All right. um, you take on the role of an aspiring magician and start your journey down the path to greatness. Collect rare books, flit between social engagements, and impress your peers with feats of magic. Be careful to strike a balance between your studies and your status, for the gentleman with the thistle-down hair has plans of his own and it will take all your strength to stop him. Ooh. So, for those of you who didn't get your kicks with any of the other magical <laughs> English books, uh, here you go. It sounds very much like they're, they're you're sitting around a parlor, right, with your with your bubble pipes. <laughs> yes, quite. Uh -huh. yes. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just very, very. Uh, yeah, that's what I think. That's what you think yeah. of gentlemen yeah. and ladies in their parlor. Is that how you be English? I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so next up, Essen is an effect full blown in Germany right now, oh, which man. is super cool. One day, one day. One, we'll yeah, no, I was just talking about that <laughs> earlier. We're gonna going to happen. It's, we got to get there yeah. one day. Um, <laughs> but over there, it's a, one of the largest uh, gaming conventions in the world. Uh, over 180,000 people <gasps> are rumored to Man. roll through this village and city. That's and, crazy. And, right, and, yeah. and take it over and talk about board games. And so a lot of our friends from different publishers are there to, uh, during this time checking out uh, what the European game wares are like, <laughs> that they can bring back to the States. Uh -huh. And of course, peddling uh, our American games over there to the, to the European countries and, right. and the gamers, which is kind of cool. So if yeah. you're watching and keeping track of what's going on uh, on Twitter or Facebook or any of the other social media platforms, uh, I'm sure there's a hashtag S in 2018 cool. that you can be following yeah. and seeing all sorts of cool content coming out of there. That's just exciting. exciting. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. And then the other thing I wanted to shout out about it, uh, we didn't really put it in here, mm -hmm. but we have a we have a sister company called Diamond Comic Distributors. Yes, we do. Uh, and they have a show now called Previews World Weekly. I've heard about this show. Yes, hmm. uh, which is also shot here in our studios in yep. another space. Uh, we just wanted to give them a shout out. If you are a huge fan of comic books, many people who like board games are also fans of comic books. Mm -hmm. um, Check out Previews World Weekly on PreviewsWorld.com or Previews World's Facebook page. And also, one of the big things this week in mm -hmm. regards to that side of the house is this Saturday is Halloween Comic Fest. That and it is. A lot of game stores are also comic book stores, mm -hmm. and a lot of them are probably participating in the Halloween Comic Fest. So if you're a big fan of comic books and want to, or have kind of fallen out and want to maybe get back in, it's a great opportunity to step back into the comic book arena with some free swag and read some stories yeah. and maybe get re uh, invigorated, re inspired to read comics again. So go check out your local comic store this weekend. If you want to find out which ones are participating, you can go to HalloweenComicFest.com and there's a store locator right there you can check out. Awesome. Yeah, so that's basically the news this week. So that means if we've checked out the news, okay. next up, what's new? Let's do it. With what's new, we have Discover Lands Unknown Fantasy Flight Games. 
that I have now discovered. <laughs> All right, so whether you're playing by yourself or with up to four players, your ultimate goal in Discover Lands Unknown is to survive. But your adventure holds many of its own secrets. As a unique game, every copy of Discover Lands Unknown is unlike any other in the world. Wow. Yeah, so that's unlike any other copy ever. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yep. Uh, the unique mix of environments, characters, storylines, items, and enemies in each copy of Discover means that your own adventures will play out differently than your friends' copies of the game. No matter where you find yourself, you'll need to survive and uncover the reasons why you've awoken, trapped in the wilderness. Uh, whether survival means cooperation or competition is completely up to you. Nice, I like that. So. Uh, we actually have done a video in regards to this. We did an interview with uh, Fantasy Flight in regards to this game. You can check it out. It's from our um, Alliance Open House weekend. Oh, awesome. Uh, so we did um, a little minor unboxing because it couldn't show off everything in the box, obviously. But you can go back and check that video out. Um, we're probably going to do more content around this game because it is super popular. And uh, I know Leona like, <laughs> is, is, is yes. uh, actually really excited about this. So um, we were absolutely gonna, you're going to see more about Discover Lands Unknown coming up. Uh, next, we've got Anchors Away. An adventure awaits. You and your fellow seafarers <laughs> <clears throat> will have to quickly decide what supplies you need for the journey ahead in this real-time game. Grab tiles from the pile of assets in the middle, flipping your ship until the cargo holds are ready to burst. Ooh. Quickly decide how many shovels, swords, maps, and other items to take in order to bring back the most treasure. Once your ship is full, set sail and tackle the adventures ahead. This game is for two to four players and lasts around 30 minutes for gamers eight and up. This game has hit shelves this week, so head to your friendly local game store and pick it up today. That sounds fun. Yes. And then the graphics on it, on, at least on the box, are very like um, the Pirates of Dark Water. Do you remember that? I don't. Oh, no. <laughs> I brought it up and you didn't know about it. That's okay. It was a great animated series that was out oh. years and years and years. And and was years, it and out before ago. I was born? I don't think so. I think it was out, ooh, maybe, no. Mm -hmm. No, I think you were born. Yeah, I think you were born. <laughs> so, yeah, so Anchor's Away. Uh, go pick it up. It's at your store this week. Very cool. All what right. else we got? Uh, so we also have Blue Moon City. Um, by Simone Games. So Blue Moon City, the board game, picks up where the two-player game, Blue in Moon, ended. The reconstruction of the destroyed city of Blue Moon. Um, as in the two-player game, the game includes three large modeled plastic dragons. At the end of the game, the board tiles all show their building plan slides. The object of the game is to use cards featuring the races of Blue Moon to help rebuild the city and, at the end, put the large crystal of the obelisk in the middle of the city back together. Blue Moon City is a two to four player game that lasts 60 minutes for uh, for players that are 10 and up. Uh, it's now at your local game store. So we can go pick it up. Yeah. I like that. Now, one of the things I, I think is pretty cool about this, if you look on the back here, uh, there are, they show the miniatures, right? And the tiles of uh, the city that you're trying to rebuild. Ooh. And the artwork on throughout the whole box is just beautiful. And um, one of the other fun things is this tower, the obelisk, kind of gives the uh, impression of like um, uh, the spotlight that, you know. Sarum? Yeah, Saruman? Like, like, like Sauron's eye. Or, yeah. yeah. The eye of Sauron uh, kind of has that spotlight thing, which leads us right into our next segment, our spotlight video it's featuring Jeff Tidball <laughs> from Atlas Games. Let's check it out. <laughs> number of candies. Oh, what if there's or? maybe a push your luck style mechanic? Mm -hmm. Let me pitch you this idea. So you are out carrying candies around and continuing to collect it. And you can maybe carry as many as you want, right? A pillowcase. Sure. A in yeah. real life, we yeah. know, can hold a great deal of candy. <laughs> but maybe as you move from house to house, you are in peril of having the other trick-or-treaters steal all your candy. Right. So the more candy you have, the more mm -hmm. uh, of a target you might be to your degenerate little red meeple who wants to steal all of my candy. So right. I, can, I can use up turns to come back and drop it off, but then I'm using up lots of turns. I'm keeping it safe, so there's right. a trade-off. I like to, to think about what are the key choices mm -hmm. that people are gonna make, and the more devilish and devious and difficult these choices are to make, right. generally speaking, the more fun people have, because they're really in a game to to make decisions and figure out, like, what should I do next? Sure. So that that is often, uh, the a push your luck mechanic is often a place where people are pressed to make mm -hmm. decisions that are difficult. That was pretty cool. Jeff Tidball yeah. was in the studio this week, and we did some videos with him around the white box and did a lot of uh, 
cool little game design stuff with him. It was fun. Uh, if you want to check out the white box, it is available now at your local game store, and you can pick it up. Awesome. And uh, speaking of the white box, because it's such a great thing, and uh, I think they're going to do a contest around it. We did Ooh. some other contests recently. We did. <gasps> is it finally time? It is time. <gasps> finally. So the Dungeons and Dragons Art and Arcana book, which is, uh, so, it's, yeah, it's so beautiful. So beautiful. It's so nice. <laughs> <clears throat> so this was uh, put together by um, Michael Whitwer, Sam Whitwer, Kyle Newman, John Peterson. It's an amazing book that shows the history and the art of Dungeons and Dragons through the ages since, <sighs> for the, since it came out in, in the 70s. And uh, they did a great job of compiling that, mm -hmm. and we got an advanced copy, and we wanted to give it away to somebody, and that somebody is Kylie Marie Brown. Ooh. Uh, we will alert you. Uh, we'll reach out to you and let you know that you were the winner, but we're letting you know here right now. Everybody watching, congratulate Kylie on, on the win. Um, in her uh, submission, mm -hmm. uh, she mentioned that she's new to the game. <gasps> Oh, so wow. What a, what a great way to uh, keep her in. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you're trapped. You have years and years of history um, right at your fingertips now. Congrats. Absolutely. And the, the authors and the, uh, everybody that was um, worked to put this together mm -hmm. are doing a book signing tour right now. Oh, wow. And they will be at uh, PAX Unplugged. <gasps> And uh, I just well, have to have my own copy that I'm going to get signed <laughs> by all of those gentlemen. It's going to be amazing. So congratulations, Kylie, on winning the Art and Arcana book. Our other contest that we had from last week was we wanted everybody Orbis. to use hashtag Space Cowboys. Yep. Who made this game Orbis. Uh, so a lot of people submitted into this contest. And the winner to that is a gentleman by the name of Fe Fred Cabrera. Ooh. And again, we'll reach out to you, Fred. Uh, congratulations, everybody. Congratulate Fred on winning Orbis. Yay, Fred! And that's to, to say is we're always going to have contests here at Game Trade Media. It's part of our way we build community. So we're going to take that and do what? Talking about community, community shout-outs. Let's do it. <laughs> Um, you can find them at www.gamenightshop.com. They are a local shop in St. Louis. Nice. Um, so their website, their, their statement at the top of their website is, stop by anytime to have a few laughs and maybe slay a dragon or two. All are welcome here and we look forward to seeing you. I love so how that. nice is that? Yeah, yeah very like, welcoming, engaging. And, love it. Yeah, that's super like, cool. I, I hear that and I'm, I'm like, yeah, let's go slay a dragon. Grab the fam. Yeah, let's, let's go. do this. <laughs> That's very cool. Our next one is Family Fun Hobbies. Mm -hmm. Their website, familyfunhobbies.com, uh, is you know very engaging. You can go there, check it out. Uh, on their website, they say, Family Fun Hobbies believes that everyone deserves and needs to have fun. We hope that our company will help you find items for the hobbies you already enjoy or else start you off with a new hobby. That's so nice. Yeah. That's yeah. what it is about, again, I love that. the community. They want to build it. They want to be engaging. They want to be easy eight points of entry. And... What better than that door? Ding, ding, ding. Open the bell into the Perfect. Room. Yes, it's so good. <laughs> so make sure you find out where your friendly local game store is in your area and join in the community. Uh, we do have a couple contests still going. We got the pumpkin here. You can go to the Facebook page, check out uh, the pumpkin uh, contest where you can guess how many dice are in the pumpkin, pumpkin jar here. And Dave added one. Did he really? He did. That's Last sneaky, painting happy sneaky. little minis. Mm. Popped it right in there. That guy. So if you guess right, we'll announce the winner on that uh, next week. Mm -hmm. uh, but I want to give away Anchors Away, I think. You know what? I think that's a great idea. Let's give someone a pirate adventure. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I think hashtag ahoy oh. <laughs> is a I great hashtag it. for it. So uh, between now and next week, if uh, you are watching this video and you put down hashtag ahoy, you'll be entered to win Anchors Away. Uh, so check it out. And that has been Board Games and Beyond. I'm Rick. And I'm Gretchen. And we'll see you at the game store. Thanks for watching Board Games and Beyond. If you liked it, leave a like and a comment below and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new content.